<laughs> Can you believe it? That this entire time the start streaming button on OBS was just like right there below like the little video player thing. Kind of nutty, dude. Kind of nutso. What's up, Jamie? Look at this. I'm looking, Skippy. I'm looking. Well, that's not the camera I wanted. That's the camera I want. What's up? Hi. What's up, Dr. Pud? And hey, Shasta, thanks for 13 months. Appreciate you. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you're all having a... A fantastic eve. Thank you, Crafty Boss, as well, for 17 months. I wanted to welcome you all to my new studio. Uh, you might be like... Wow, a new studio, MC. Where'd you move? Well, I moved across the hallway. Uh, me, me and my dear husband, Arctic, we did a office swap. Sorry, I'm trying to bite the alert. Uh, what's up, Bob? Thanks for 71. Me, me, me. Uh, so this is a brand new studio. I'm across the way. Uh, there, there, there's still some work to be done. Um, some of the biggest improvements are everybody, my everybody's favorite guest to the stream, uh, air conditioner is back. Welcome back, air conditioner. It's good to have you, the old Black and Decker. Um, you might notice it's a little bit echoey. I don't, the, the microphone's pretty good at not getting the echo, but that's a little reverb you're hearing still. I'm gonna plan to put some stuff up against that wall and perhaps some acoustic foam against where I'm speaking and maybe a little bit behind me. So that way it doesn't bounce so much, but part of it is Hardwood, hardwood floors. You can't put in a window unit. This is a, uh, a, a, a crank window. It is not a window. So unfortunately I'm not able to do that. So this is actually a special window kit that's designed for it and it has saved my existence. I love it very much. Actually do not need to have my fan on as well. That is wasteful. Oh no, a floof. There was a floof in my air. What's up, Harvey Mike? Good to see you. Happy evening. Oh, you got your own little emote there. Army Mike, hi. Oh, hoo, hoo, shoo. All right, I'm going to bring it on over to the game. Because you guys might want to see that eventually. HyperDeck Studio 4K. Interesting, Skippy. Hope you enjoy it. Narvik, thank you for 67 months. This is a cool... This is a, I, I like to think I'm a cool streamer. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it to the experts to, to let you know, though. <clears throat> yeah, I hope you're all doing good. I'm going to be trying some new stuff, such as not shouting when I stream. Trying to be a little bit more conservative with my voice. Because I've been hurting my voice too much lately. Stone, thanks for 58 months. Appreciate you. No game audio? What do you mean, no game audio? It appears we have no game audio. I... I, I, I challenge the ruling on the field. How about now? What the heck? Now, I don't have it either. What? What? Man, I did so much work before the stream start. Wait, I can hear myself. Why can I hear myself? I have a theory.
<laughs> tricky, tricky. Oh, now you're gonna be too loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like I said, I moved offices, so all my stuff had to be reconnected. Thank you, Hal, for 51 months. How goes High in Disguise Zelda HD? Uh, I haven't been playing it much. But here I am playing it now. I think we're about to have Groose scene, if I'm correct. Did I miss the first stream of this game? You missed the first two. But they should be on the Twitch VODs. Yep. Man, this is just like Fortnite. Who right you are, Kemi. We're sorry on a gone day. Oh yeah, well yeah, we got a we got a hype train. Look at that. I totally did not notice the hype train. It's Groose Ariana Grande. Yeah. I think I might have broke something, Link, seriously. Don't never want to try to win without crash. <laughs> Tiny birds. How do you like the controls? I don't mind them too bad. Yeah, they're pretty good though. What the heck, Skippy? The Skippy has gifted 10 subs! And thank you to Artemis Well. And Army Mike cheered 300. Thank you all very much. What the heck? Thank you, Skippy. I think that was our first time hearing the, the brand new 10 sub sound. That's a brand new one. <laughs> Lake Count, thank you as well. Oh yeah, wait, did I go live at like 8 p.m.? Oh my god, I did. It was unintentional. It was completely unintentional. Oh, well, thank you everybody, we're at a level 4 hype train. We haven't had a completed hype train in a while. Ooh. Man, that, that, that's so good, Foxborn. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, those are the, um, part of the new alert sounds I got like a, a month and a half ago or so from uh, uh, Ro Panaganti. Whatever happened to the old alerts? I've been using the, the the Carlos sounds for like four or five years, and I was like, let, let's get let's get um let, let's get Ro Panaganti on the phone to make some new ones. Well, th thank you very much. We are almost. We're at a level 5 hype train, not complete hype, uh, level 5 hype train, but we are on it, so thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. You're very generous to me for somebody who hasn't streamed in a while. For various reasons. Not going to go into it too much, but the biggest one was moving offices. You're fine. Oh, I know I'm fine. I I I'm a, I'm a huge advocate for streamers not saying sorry for not streaming, because sometimes life gets you, you know. <laughs> Especially if I don't advertise a schedule. If I advertise a schedule, maybe we'd have some problems, but I do not. One you saw by his outer side is Impa. She is one foxy grandma. I mean, take out your harp. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am. I am using button controls.
It's like the first time I ever like one shot that. I'd like to thank button controls today. Play Freebird. <laughs> Link doesn't know that one. He was made in the 80s. Actually, when, when did Freebird come out? Hey Siri, when did Freebird come out? Skinner came out this 13th, 1973. 70s, yeah. I, I, was, I was like, it's the 70s, right? I didn't know if it was like late 70s though. <clears throat> Buying the harp so fast. Very skilled. Two minutes left on that hype train, folks. We're not. We're 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 fifty percent done with the final level. If you want to hear new new uh, sounds, <laughs> that's another benefit. If you're so so inclined, there's new bit sounds, new sub sounds. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Thank you, Skippy. That's the five, the five uh, one. Oh man, ninety six percent. Skippy almost just <laughs> polished it off, but alas. Does this work? Sorry, a uh, hundred bits is the minimum. Prevent spam. But thank you for the thirty bits. Link, there will be time to explain later. Now I must beat the boss. It did add 1% to the progress bar. You are very correct. Yeah, Army Mike, you got the, you got a, a big old sub. Submarine sandwiches. 45 seconds left. <gasps> There you go, Army Mike. Thank you so much. That was a good one. That's a sick one. I really forgot it was the art. Yeah, the, 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 the sound scared Bruce. Hey, Akemi, thanks for 245. It's a very specific number. But thank you. That's the price of a, of two, two regular hamburgers, eh? Off the dollar menu with tax. Hey, level five completed on the hype train. Thank you all very much. Enjoy your new emotes. I got one. I'd like to share it. I got hype sus. I <laughs> got a cat. Got a suspicious cat. Sick. A lot of you guys got hype squawk. What is this? That was the buying on my phone iOS amount for some reason. Okay, I mean, here, here's your here's your Twitch tip of the day. Uh, be very careful about buying uh, bits on iPhone too much. The uh, Apple takes a cut. But thank you. I'm in bed. Why are you in bed? Get up. <laughs> to anybody else, that would be such a weird thing to say to somebody. All right, here we go. Put it in. MC, it's late for some people. I know you don't sleep, but some do. I slept 13 hours the other day. I, I was really not feeling well. And I like, I was like, hey, my stomach's feeling kind of woozy, Arctic. I'm gonna go lay down. And Arctic was like, cool, okay, enjoy your, enjoy your rest. I was like, cool, thanks. And then I woke up 13 hours later. And I was like, I feel better now. Oh yeah, MC sleeps. MC likes to sleep in weird places. Yeah, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the land on his head method. Got him. Game sound, you're still a little loud for me. 
You ever just wiggle, dude? Yeah, what's up, Grandma? Dude, stop. Okay. I don't know if everybody else has this, but I have like a very specific way of sleeping. Like I have to be in the right position and I'm going to tell you it. Even though I think it might be like partially embarrassing. I don't know. It's not that embarrassing. It's just who I am. Um, I sleep on my side, one hand here, and my other one has to be like on my leg. And sometimes to keep my hand on my leg, I'll put it in the pockets of my shorts if I'm wearing them, or even in my like underwear, what's it called? Uh, the elastic. So that way, so that way my, my hand stays where it is. Waistband, thank you. And some people are like, MC, why are you sleeping with your hand down your pants? But it's like, because I want my hand to like stay where it is. And so if, if I'm in this position, it's sleep time. Otherwise, it's harder for me to get to sleep. I have fallen asleep in weird positions before, but that's a very strange position. When I had nothing, when I know nothing but Zelathon for years, MC always slept when I was awake, so I ever so hardly ever saw him. Oh, uh, were you, were you uh, somebody who watched during uh <laughs> during normie hours? I, I I I was up mostly during the late evening. I will always remember my favorite uh, Zeldathon uh, chat message, which was MC has been at so many Zeldathons or something. It was it was like it was like why has MC been at so many Zeldathons? It was something like that, and I was like, oh, man, wait until I tell you tell you something. <laughs> I've I've been at a lot of Zeldathons in my time because I made it. <laughs> My milestone achieved! Yeah, that is the milestone achieved sound. Oh god, I hear it most of the time. I turn down my speakers a little bit. Take a marathon off and give someone else a chance once. I considered taking a marathon off, but I could I can't. I'm 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 addicted. Why have Zelda games been played at so many Zelda <laughs> Hey man, all but one. Hi MC, how are you? It doesn't work, ma'am. What am I supposed to do? I didn't... Sacred Flames. I gotta find the Battle of Goss. Gotta return to Skyloft. All right. <laughs> Zelda has ruined a lot of the random sound effects. A lot of the Skyward, the Skyward Sword get item is a very, like... It's like one of our most core secret or secret sounds. Or, I guess it's on no normal sounds. Who is Thawne? I am Thawne. Thawne is my favorite, favorite Zelda character. Mm. Hi, MC, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, Bagbot. Um, I really love that. Bay -day -bay -day. <laughs> Mr. Olsen, thank you for 66 months. MC a Thawne. I don't, I don't want to do that. That, that seems a little bit too, uh, what's the word? Uh, pretentious. Bum 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 bum, but a bum 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 bum. bum, 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 bum. No, I'm so bad at it. Ah. 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 I got one. Ah. 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 I got one. Ah. 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 <laughs> it's gone. So shocked Nintendo hasn't tried to get the name removed. Okay, well let me put put your put, I'm gonna put yourself in Nintendo's position as a company. Do you send your lawyers after the charity marathon that has raised three million dollars for good causes and has done nothing to 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 get in your way? How do you think that'll look PR wise? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> 
MC a thon would just be under 20 hours of MC on a couch. I mean, I could do that. I'd just be sleeping quite a bit. Also, Zelda's a name. It could be unrelated. There, 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 there's not a chance that... Let's put it this way. Nintendo could say, stop using the name Zelda Thon. Zelda's our trademark. And they would. That'd be silly. Hey, Karzon! How are you? Thank you for 72 months. And thank you for being around for so long. Karzon's a... A good old folk. <laughs> and thank you, Peoples, as well, for 55. Thank you all very much. I'm actually coming up on having some people with a hundred months subscribed. And Twister, thank you for 31. Okay, I'm gonna... All right, I, I don't usually do this because this is, this is very pompous pompous, all right? A little bit. So Twitch sent out <laughs> these like care boxes to people, like, to, like, some of their original partners and stuff. And they're like, thanks for being around since the beginning. <laughs> like, didn't get one. And I, there was a lot of people who didn't get them. It, it was very, it was a very select crew. But I also was like, a little bit, just a little bit. I was like, but, but, I, but I was here since the beginning. We were one of the first partners. <laughs> and I was like, am, am, am I, am I gonna, am I gonna say anything? I didn't say anything on Twitter. I waited until now to say it because uh, I don't want to actually at Twitch because I value them and it's okay. I don't I don't need a box. But there was a little part of me when I saw like the first couple people post them. I was like, let me check my USPS app and see if there's anything coming soon. No, oh, it's all right. <laughs> Why am I in this house? Where am I? I'm going to talk to, to, to grandpa. <laughs> Actually, um, what was I going to do? Somebody was interested in the new alerts. So we've heard bit alert 100 and 1,000. The bit alerts we haven't heard are 2,500, 5,000, and then 10,000 plus. Then there's gift sub ones for... Uh, one sub, five subs, 10, 25, 50, and then a hundred, which, you know, I don't, I, 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 we've, I think we've only heard one, five, and 10. Um, and then there is a raid sound that I don't know if we've heard yet. Th those are the, those are the, the new sounds we haven't heard. <sighs> Sing it. Sing it, Elton. All right, we gotta we gotta twist the the light towers. Unfortunately, to twist the light towers, we're gonna need to start the scrap request. Is Zelda th uh, is money making game disc only? Oh, did you mean money making game? The hit documentary based on the 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 hit charity marathons. Uh, download today by. You, I mean, you can buy a disc if you want to. But you can download it. There's there's a digital version you can buy. Corn dogs. Thanks for 58. Yeah, there's a digital edition. This looks easier than crossword puzzles. I've been doing so many crossword puzzles. I've been doing so many crossword puzzles, chat. Uh, I've been doing a lot of crossword puzzles. And... I've been playing lots of games on my phone. I'm becoming a mobile gamer. I hope you all can forgive me. Except mobile games actually kind of kind of sick, dude. Digital wear. So it should be on the Yeti. Also, if you by the way, if you get the disc version, you get the digital version free. Boo! -hoo. Crossword puzzles are the new meta for Twitch. What's everyone's current obsession? My task. I've been doing um, mini motorways. Mini motorways and crossword puzzles have been my my latest obsession. That and also staring at my computer, thinking something's gonna change. I've been really like in a funk lately. 
Hey dude. Where's where's the where's the gear? Where's the caveman? Pacross? I would like to do some more Pacross. Pacross would be fun. What's up, Drum Ultima? Good to see you. Want me to put your name on a cajon? <laughs> I don't have any cajones nearby. <laughs> oh, forgot. I forgot Fi needs to be nearby. Fi, you're supposed to be attached to my microphone. What's up, Silver? Oh, wow. Hold on. We got a big chat message. Let's, let's have a read. Just want to say, love everything you all do. Well, I was never a huge fan of Zelda myself, leaning more towards sci-fi games. My girlfriend is a huge Nintendo fan, with Zelda being her most treasured franchise. She introduced me to Zelda-thon many years ago, and I forget what my first one was. And the reason I've come back to every marathon was your guys' personality. And now I'm interested in a series I previously thought very little about. Tell that to, <laughs> tell that to Nintendo. Maybe, maybe they'll be like, wait, hold on. These guys are selling the games. <laughs> no, thank you very much. That's very, it's very kind of you. If you don't already, uh, Kai Shinto, uh, follow the Zeldathon Twitch channel. We're doing all of our events from there in the future. The well, we're gonna probably mirror it onto this channel at least once more. So, uh, but if you want to follow that channel, you'll get all the all the Zeldathon content. <laughs> Yeah, Shasto. Shasto in the chat uh, was talking to me over on the Discord um, the other day and told me about how they, like, only became a Zeldathon fan when there haven't been Zeldathons. <laughs> only when there's been side quests. So uh, Sh Sh Shasto has not seen a Zeldathon yet, which is exciting to me. That It's like we have people who are fans of Zeldathon, but have never actually seen Zeldathon. My, which is crazy to me. It's Scrapper. Take my flower. Ooh. Already haven't been tuning in every side quest too. Thank you. I'm glad that you've been enjoying it. The ball pit has been retired, my friends, unfortunately. Ooh. By unfortunately, I mean kind of fortunately. It, it lived its purpose for a time, but after a while, it was just a lot to maintain and store. And so we... We retired it, my friends. Kevin the Patreon. F big fan of your stream, MC. Thank you. Big fan of you saying big fan of your stream, MC. <laughs> I'm slowly working my way through the older Zelathons I've watched. Nico Blazewin, you know, mo more po Oh, there she is. Uh, more power to you for people who watch like the old Zelathons. Silver was here in chat. Silver can attest, old Zelda-thons were very special, very fun, especially in the time. But a little bit when you look back, you're just like, man, they were just sitting in a room. <laughs> they, really were, they really were just sitting in a room. <laughs> Occasionally waking up going, hey, we haven't had a donation in five hours. I'm going to level with you. <laughs> if anybody wants to give to charity, it'd be really great. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, so so propeller. Check my full age on the nine year anniversary is past. That was my first. Your nine year anniversary. Your first Zelda fun was nine years ago. It's hard to figure out when that was, but you're 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 talking like at least Zelda fun child's play era, right? I kind of miss the old Zelda-thons. I, I do too, Silver. Like I, I love both. Like I, I that's why I want to do more stuff from my house and stuff. Like have just a very, very small, intimate group, um, just for just for my own fun, just because I do like that aspect. But on the other hand, I absolutely love the direction that we've taken the latest Zelda-thons in terms of becoming bigger, higher quality productions, and I like both. <laughs> you know. I miss the old Zelda fonts for some of the intimacy of the actual, like, experience and the challenge, but I don't miss being cramped in a house, not having a good diet, 
uh, ruining my my sleep schedule, uh, <laughs> etc. You know, the things that have been solved by by upgrading ourselves. <laughs> No, we, we want Finn to be more than a side quest thing. Finn is going to be uh, the, the mascot for, like, all the events that we're running. Oh, I definitely agree, right? <laughs> One of my favorite things that, that um, about the newer Zelophons that haven't been able to happen in the past was people can, like, do stuff other than the marathon. Like, Silver and, and lots of people play, like, board games and stuff. That was impossible in the old days. <laughs> like... There is no other activity that you can do at Zeldathon other than Zeldathon. It was how the old days went. <laughs> there was no other activity. I missed the behind the scenes videos. What do you mean? I'm putting up on we put up a lot of those. Tales from Chill Room. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd like to do more Tales from Chill Room. Except Chill Room camera got stolen by a ho a, a hotel person. Grr. I'm angry. I've done nothing but playing board games last few Zelovons. Well, we, 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 gotta, we gotta get you back into the fray a little bit, Silver. But Silver, whenever you do a run, it always makes me so happy. Your runs are, like, stellar, always. It's hard to discuss a game with someone when all your video games made a completely different style. It's like a long time, time GTA fan turning into it, tuning into an Animal Crossing stream. I suppose. I'd like to think that, you know... I mean, broadening, broadening your own video game, like, range is always a hard thing at sometimes, but it's also very cool. You know, I want, I want to use the, 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 uh, amiibo here, but I don't have it close by. What a supper Matt Gimmer tweet. That joker needs to be deactivated. I'm going to stream well at 8 p.m. Eastern. How did he know, dude? <laughs> Guys, my, my Twitter bot has been problematic lately. Uh, <laughs> my, 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 my Twitter bot, which just takes things from my, my you know, my Twitter and like, and like pastes together tweets and makes its own tweets. Uh, I set it up years ago and I haven't touched it. It just goes. Um... It's been tweeting things along the lines of like, COVID is such a good time. And I'm like, no robot, no. And I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go in and figure out how to log into this whole thing. I don't even know how to anymore. I have to figure out how to disconnect this robot. <laughs> this robot is, is becoming an issue. Anything problematic at tweets taken from you? Well, it's combining two different tweets. It's taking like me saying something about COVID and then me talking about something that's good and just being like, it's like, no, we can't do that. Is that the tweet? Yeah. Only a couple of hope. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good one. <sighs> yeah, no, the robot needs to... We need we need to talk to the robot. Not, not the robot that's followed me. Dude, I love Scrapper. By the way, the HD remake is very good. The more I play it, the more I see other people playing it. It's just so powerful. Should I explain things to me from the point of view of someone idolized Zelda? Meanwhile, you got me comparing things to Skyrim because at the time it was my only fantasy experience. Ah, I see. See, as a um, Zelda mega fan, I know sometimes... Uh, me trying to talk about Zelda to somebody who doesn't play Zelda at all is not a great idea. <laughs> like, on one hand, me saying, I really like the Legend of Zelda games because there's a lot of action in them, but also there's like puzzle solving and, and you know ex exploration that uh, of really cool worlds. People be like, oh, I understand. But if I say, man, lately the Triforce hasn't been as present in all the games. It's really weird that they haven't been putting that element in lately. Uh, and I really think that them like not really touching on the golden goddesses is, is really a shame from a lore perspective. And people are like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Say the funny, say the funny lines, MC. I don't have a funny line. 
I was thinking the other day, do I have a catchphrase? I'm like, I don't have a catchphrase. I don't have a thing. What should my thing be? Cougar, thank you for 25 months. Do I have a thing? Chat, do I have a thing? I don't think I have a thing. Getting major 2011 vibes. I'm getting major 2021 vibes right now because this looks excellent. Your thing is strange mouth noises. <laughs> is that my thing? The, big, the bigger the, the bigger the chest, the bigger the yes. That's what I always say. Well, they haven't dropped the Triforce since Ocarina of Time. The goddesses have been less prevalent. You also have a distinctive laugh. Do I? My laugh is like... Nothing. <laughs> my, my laugh is RNG. I've described this before. Thanks. Who? Akemi! <laughs> Thank you, Akemi, for three months. I appreciate you. I'll be seeing you soon. BRB getting sushi. Man, I wish I could BRB get some sushi. I mean, I could. Actually, what time is it? I could probably get, still get sushi. But I'm not going to, because I'm full. Because I had pad thai tonight, folks. And it was fantastic. And we got these little chicken kebabs on the side. Oh! So good. Akemi, it, we, got, we, got, we got the pad thai from the same place that we got uh, when last time you visited. By last time you visited, I mean the time you visited. It only took two years of her explaining how Link and Zelda worked to understand all the, all the Links and Zeldas are from the same people. And I still don't understand where people like Tingle and Linkle fit in. Linkle is only in the spin-off title, Hyrule Warriors. Oh yeah, let me press X. Was a good. It, it was so good, Akemi. Okay, the pad thai I've been getting from this place. It's my favorite pad thai of any place we've gone. I don't know if it's the most authentic, but I don't really care. It's the one that makes me the happiest, both in belly and mouth. <laughs> I hope you are all happy in belly and mouth tonight. By the way, um, side note, I've actually made some adjustments to my audio setup. Specifically, I cut out the mixer, and I'm doing, uh, all, all, the only effects I'm doing is a compressor and a noise suppressor uh, in in uh, in software only. J Jump Ultima, can, can you talk to the people? <laughs> um, and I hope it sounds okay. I, 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 you know, one day, maybe later down the road, I'll, get some sort of smaller interface that has like some built-in controls. Cause right now, I, the thing is, I don't want to use my um, mixer for this stream because it's like a, it's a honking mixer for like, like 18 channels. <laughs> and you know how many channels I need to operate? One, <laughs> maybe two, if we want to get fancy, get some stereo, <laughs> get a second microphone. Whoa, I'm, a, I'm an ASMR streamer. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, can I just like yeet myself? Sick. That's why I have the Go XLR. See, I was considering getting a Go XLR, except Go XLRs are expensive. <laughs> they cash dollars. And right now I'm trying to spend my cash dollars on more productive things like um my house. Isn't that fun? Isn't it fun being an adult? Hey there, stranger gifted me an MC sub. Now it looks like I need to come watch my boy MC. What's up, Oscar? Skivarium. Welcome. Hopefully you've been well. You and the fam and friends. Fam and friends. Fam and... Fam and friends? All my buddies who don't got no potatoes. Not funny. <laughs> Anyways, 
<laughs> I was actually listening to Josh Jepson's stream tonight, and he was he was talking about how he laughs sometimes, and he's like by default, and then he's like, and sometimes I need to learn how to not do that because sometimes the things I'm laughing about aren't funny, and I know they're not funny, but I'm tickled. <laughs> and I'm gonna get you. Oh, I almost... Oh, my bird! My bird hit the thing. When it, whenever you face plant on an island, when you when you like, do the, the skydive onto it, I, I always think of that as the, the, the silver. Cause he, he was the first one I saw do that. I have been permanently tired and overworked, but still good. Ain't that the life? No sail cloths for me. Too right you are, Silver. Too right you are. This puzzle's so hard for me in 2012, but super easy. Yeah. Same. This might have been one I, I, I checked the game FAQs for. <laughs> you can see the rain now. Could you not see the rain before? Hey, you know what? How do you know what to do for this? Do it, man. New office. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually in my new office right now, everybody. Well, I talked about it at the start of stream, but uh, I moved across the hallway from... My old office, me and Arctic did a office swap. So I have, I have only moved approximately in total like 15 feet <laughs> from where I was pre previously. <laughs> like I, I, before I used to sat, sit right behind the wall. It's very purple. That would be a lamp uh, or actually it's a, a Philips Hue strip. It's just like before. Oh my, really? Yeah, I can't mean, we, we partially did it for you. Um, because this 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 room is underneath uh, me and Arctic's bedroom. I need a new desk. My Ars desk is too big for me as a short person. Ah. Two people live in the same house. Swapping off seems like too much effort for not much purpose. You don't know why we did it though. One, for the soundproofing reasons. You didn't... You, Akemi, you, you didn't do nothing. It was our decision. You weren't involved. <laughs> um, <laughs> we did it as a gift. Um, but it, it, it's actually for a very important reason. The, 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 I would I actually say it's the first most important reason because we actually wanted to do this for a long time. Everybody? I, in case you weren't here at the top of the stream... I'd like to show you all uh, a long time stream guest has returned to us at long last. I hope you're all ready. Say hello da, 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 to the Black & Decker portable air conditioning unit. Back in action. MC has a pet. Yeah, it's my Black & Decker uh, portable air conditioning unit. Um, Back in action at last. Before, I could only use it if I was pumping the hot air through this tube out my door and into the house's exhaust system with by and then turning on the house fan um which kind of stupid we have we have ac in this house but when i stream it's not enough because i also close my door and basically turn myself into a uh, a heat box it needs a name it has a name it's called the black and decker portable air conditioning unit and here it is it is it has a tube that's hooked up and it goes up out this window you might be saying where does that window go the world and the cool thing is when, when, I, when i'm done with the night i can pull this tube out and then i can close the window by turning the crank it's like right here and goes and i can lock it just like that black burn decker why are you all trying to name my air conditioner <laughs> I, I appreciate the sound effects yeah you know 
What's up, Absin? <laughs> Donation. <laughs> See, that, there's the Zelda thon in me. That was the Zelda thon in me right there. <laughs> oh. I've been conditioned. I've been very conditioned by our charity marathons. For some sounds mean certain things. In, in both Zelda and outside Zelda. <sighs> I'm off to bed. Have a great stream. Thanks, Army Mike. That's the fifty dollar one, isn't it? I have no idea. All right, we're going to go do a trial gate. I'm excited, actually. We have a one hundred dollar donation from a pair of pants. <laughs> Thirty k channel points. Nice. I don't really have many uh, channel point rewards active right now. Um, I've been whenever I've been streaming lately, it's usually when I have time. And I haven't been, like, going full ham into streaming, so I haven't been, like, wanting to put too much stuff. Professional review might come back. Should I become a VTuber? <laughs> MC, what are you talking about? Where did this come from? You know, I spent all this time setting up my office so you could all see my my stuff. Is it time to like, just become a VTuber? Get a blueberry rig? But that's, see, that's weird because like, I'm not blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry's my friend. <laughs> MC with the big juke has actually been a VTuber this whole time. Oh yeah, by the way, I <laughs> this this is actually just a really good 3D model. I was legit thinking what your V2 rig would look like, MC. I could just be Ravio. Actually, whoa, how just said the same thing. It's ray tracing, right? Yeah. You can tell because of the really good shadows. Become a W tuber? Ah, advanced. I actually do not have a ray tracing GPU. It's actually very sad. I really want one, but GPUs are both expensive and unavailable, and it's not a priority for me right now. You know what is a priority for me? Bye. Okay, I'd like to go where the thing is. A WTuber is just a duo of duo via VTubers. Yeah. Zamoni Kaker! <laughs> Maribodo! This is actually not the actual Monique. The actual Monique is held by Tylenos. Do you have the amiibo? Do I have the amiibo? I have amiibo for days! And yes, I have the other amiibo. It's, it's down there! You can't see it probably. But yes, I have it. Um, I also have Incineroar, Link, and, and Wolf O'Donnell, close by. These are extras. These are spares. <laughs> Good thing I got the dowsing thing for finding the, the special spot. Found it! That was hard. I love the harp too, Doug, because it's so stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's like, all right, Link, you, you're gonna you're gonna figure out each individual string, you're gonna play a tune. It's like, no, I got this. <laughs> Link did not have a teacher for this. The cool thing is it actually apparently does change the notes it plays to be more, uh, to not clash with it <laughs> when it does that. 
That's actually how anybody plays the harp in real life, to be fair. I don't think so. Link has no idea what he's doing, and it makes 100% sense. Link is... my hero. Madi Maras. Hey, Madi Maras, I know how to do this. Do not tell me anything. <gasps> if you had to only choose one type of merchandise to get, what would you choose? Plushies or figures? That's a hard decision. I mean, I, I love plushies. Like, plushies are so soft and you can go and they're, they're good. But also figures, look, he's just standing there. Like, that's really difficult, Aunt. That's a really difficult question. You can pose figures. Yeah, but you can't cuddle figures, they hurt. They are hard, and they go poke. Why is everybody saying body pillows? That's not one of the two options I was given. I think I'd probably go for plushies. Because I can still put them on display. And I... I like soft, so. So that's where I'm at. What's up, Art Matters? Welcome. I've always liked your name because it's less of just like a name, it's more of a statement. Do not explain to me anything else ever again. All right. Uh-oh. <gasps> Alright, welcome everybody to the Silent Realm, where MC has to actually find all the Tears of Light and not mess up. Imagine cuddling a Ganon plushie. If it was Pig Ganon, like, blue Pig Ganon, like, old Pig Ganon, like, Zelda 1 Pig Ganon, I'm not gonna stop saying Pig Ganon, uh, I'd be so down for a Ganon plushie, because he's, like, cartoony and cute. If it was, like, Twilight Princess Beast again, and I'd be like, I, I, I'd be too scared. I'd be too scared to cuddle with Beast Ganon. What do you want? I understand it's waking water. You don't have to tell me it's called waking water. It's an unusual liquid substance that covers this area known as waking water. Yeah, I know. Who do you think you're talking to? Fi. You're not talking to. First time player, you're talking to Sup Matt Gim, you know? And that's a Dusk Relic. How much did the Silent Realm uh, terrify you the first time? I don't remember, but I do know that I was like really enthralled by it because I thought it was, I thought it was like really dumb at first. And then the more I played it, I was like, this is kind of like one of the best parts of the game. In fact, it might be my favorite part of the game. Must be your first Zelda game. Hey guys, my first Zelda game. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, um, today I'm going to be trying to find Dungeon 2. Woo. Yo, what's up? I want that Dusk Roll. Can I have it? I'm just gonna... <laughs> that was fun. I really just... Swiggity swagged on in. <laughs> swiggity swiggity swag. <laughs> Shout outs to Mario's wins. What if I told you I never played a Mario uh, Zelda game? I mean, I'd be lying, but. Uh, see, I don't care when people tell me that they haven't played a Zelda game. Because there's a lot of people like. Oh, I touched the waking water. Um. There's a lot of people who've told me, like, oh, but I haven't played a Zelda game. Or, like, what's your favorite Zelda game, MC? And I'm like, oh, it's this one. And they're like... I'm like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, okay, cool. If Do you want to play it? Because if you want to play it, 
I will happily watch you play it because I love watching people play Zelda. If you don't want to play it, then guess what? I don't care. I don't care if people play Zelda or not. I would care if somebody told me I couldn't play Zelda. Then I would start to have a problem, you know? And I'd be like, who do you think you are? <laughs> Missing four, and I left one purposefully back at the beginning. Um, how, do, how once does get ups? That was a sentence. Ta -na 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 -na. That's halfway, thank you for the one months. Appreciate you. And I appreciate all you've done over the past 31 months. Some can't play video games due to health problems. Very true. Although, one thing that's really nice is there are a lot of really great charities that are trying to make that more accessible. How many months was that? 31 months? What? To ask Halfley? What? How many months was what? America Explain. Oh, I haven't gone this one. This one's a hard one. This guy can jingle jangle. Oh, I want that dusk relic. I'm going for it, dude. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna juke him. Watch this, pro tier gamer. Uh oh. <laughs> I almost was not a pro tier gamer. I almost uh. I almost made a, a, a big mistake. Is there such a thing as blue guard on TV and PC screens? Yeah. There's also good glasses to prevent that. Dragon scale. Bum 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 bum. Here he is, the big man. No, not you. You are not the big man. You are Fi. Oh, hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale there. It's amazing. You can swim through the water. So true, bro brother. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Ooh, Amber Relic, you will be mine. Yeah, Windows 10 has a built-in night mode. Um, I use, and the cool thing about the Windows 10, uh, screen dimming is that you can choose how strong the effect is. A lot of times I will put on the effect, if I'm not doing any, like, color intensive work, like in Photoshop or Premiere, I will turn it on at a low grade almost all the time so that it reduces eye strain in general. Because especially if you're someone who stares at a screen a lot, like, uh most humans um in <laughs> anymore then i uh, you really should consider that dude look look at this guy get out of here I <laughs> got him, dude. <laughs> I 
I specifically made sure to request that they did not put any special, um, like, color tinting on my glasses because I do color intensive work. I say that, but also my monitors that I have are like so pathetic sometimes. Oh, I need to, I need to catch these birds. Do the birds come back? Uh oh, it's a sculpture, sculpture, back here dude dude what a powerful guy i wore sunglasses every day for so long that i forgot the world isn't whiskey colored during the day oh set that sounds sounds like you might you might have had a realization bees 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 i use flux by 10 forget it's on then when i do my art my colors are off <laughs> that's uh unfortunate Look, it's it's a moblin. Big man alert. What is the lore behind the moblin's nipple guards? Uh, they're very sensitive. Have, have you ever been hit in the nipple? He's very, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a smart dude, man. Master, if you press the button label subscribe, something good will happen. Thank you, Foots, for four years, in fact. Enjoy your new badge. Give me one moment. Ah! What was that? Oh, you, you might not have heard that. MC, if I may ask, uh, in a non-judgmental, non-entitled manner, are you planning on adding new VODs to the Super MC Streams channel again at some point? Yeah, I am planning on it. When? Gotta tell you, life's been slamming me. So I will hashtag as soon as I can. Because the thing is, if I get back to putting them up, I want to make sure it's consistent again. I don't want to slack. But the thing is, I just haven't been able to stream lately, so there hasn't been much to put up. And then, so what I have done, I haven't put up because I've been lazy. <laughs> I might take a quick break, my friends. I'll be right back.
Yeah, what's up? You've reached the top of the tree. This is my least favorite character in this game. I hate Yerbal. What's a good dessert after sushi? Uh, a fruit, I would say, actually, like a mango. MC, you take that back. Hey, there's a lot of good characters in this game, and I don't like Gearable that much. Gearable is a top four character in this game. Top four, well, that's so specific. Especially when like Zelda, Groose, and Gear Heme are just there and Link, and that's four. All right, I, you know, I don't know why you're showing this to me, but I'll, I'll put a thing on it if that makes you happy. Got it. Top eight. Yeah, I like almost every single one of the Mogbas better than this guy. All right, time to take time to take a dive. Uh, where do I need to go? Uh, I'm trying to figure out which portion of the... I think it's behind me. Oh well. Whee! What's up, Madeline? Welcome. Madeline? Madeline? Oh gosh, I've already forgotten which one you prefer. I'm so sorry. Those birds immediately knew what was going on. Oh yeah, and that's also Impa. Oh dude. Here he is. What's up, Quartier Action? What's up, buddy? I hope you're doing well. I've been thinking about you a little bit. Probably means I should send you a message, but I'm a bad, 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 bad man. Fi's in your top ten. Fi is amazing. <laughs> Y'all just mean. <laughs> Doing quite well, Lily. That's what we like to hear. All right, here we go. Count it. <laughs> Wait, did it not work? Okay, it did. <laughs> Madeline, okay. Maddie, okay. I will try to remember that, but no, no promises because I'm a forgetful lad. So, what I should have done is done the, the jump slash method to get up top, but I forget how, but I don't know how that's done. Pro gamers can do it. Pro gamers can just like get right up here, dude. I'd rather have Navi and Tattle at the same time than Fi. Man, I don't, I don't know why, why people are so, like, yeah, Fi gives you lots of reminders, but she's a lot better in this game and she was always a great character. Minus. Do you still anyway speed running MC? Uh, yeah, I actually just recently got a Mario Golf uh, record. Not record, PB.
Where's Bloosh? Floria Lake F Waterfall. We're going to Lake Floria Waterfall. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm feeling pretty happy that I have. Oh, hold on. I've like never like actually looked at Lake Floria, like as 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 a lake. I always get you always get pushed by default into the the river. I never looked at the actual lake. Dude, let me look at the lake. It's so pretty here, but they don't want you to look at it. Lake Florida? Yeah, this is Lake Florida. My favorite Zelda location. They really just like don't want you to look at it. Oh, Amber Relic. Amber Relic alert. More of a river than a lake. Everyone's a critic. See, I'm a Zelda super fan, so I like almost all the partner characters. In fact, I do like all the partner characters. I think they're all really good. <gasps> Amber Relic. <gasps> I love Amber Relics. Dude, this, this guy's my favorite because he's going to be like, watch this, right? He's going to swim through here. Haha, <laughs> I didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're going to be able to follow me now. Are you going to cry? Do you think you can make it through? Let's go ahead and try. <laughs> God, how is that even possible? Take me to her. All right, we're, we're gonna go to see the water dragon. We're off to see the dragon. The water dragon of dragon dragon. If I was Jamie, I'd have some sort of clever joke right now about dragons. But alas, I am not. Which Zelda game had the best swimming item? Um. I want to say like the flippers or something, or like a uh, or the mermaid suit. Is that the way forward? Gaming. Zelda two with the raft. The boots let you walk on water. All right, here we go. Time for the Omega jump. You ready? First try. Twilight Princess Zora tunic looks sweet. Yeah, it was all right. I recently built beat two levels of legendary difficulty, second highest level in the, in the game. Nice, congratulations! You are a champion. <clears throat> have any of you guys been playing Pokemon Unite? I have not myself, but I've been witness to uh, men many a folk trying it out. And it seems like it's actually been better received than I expected. Uh, you know, people were very critical of it when it was first announced. They were like, wow, 10 cent mobile game, mobile. And then, then the game came out and they're like, actually, hold up. This kind of is a banger. A little bit. I haven't played in a couple weeks now. Interesting. 
Have you heard of a show called The Owl House? I have not. What's it about? Is it about owls in a house? If not, then uh, I gotta say I'm a little bit less interested. Better redhead, Groose or Ralph? I love my boy Ralph, but I gotta go with Groose. I might play Unite when it hits mobile. Did it not come out on mobile, like, same day? I thought it would have came out on Switch and mobile same day. I have Great Ace Attorney, but I haven't played it yet. It is literally sitting in my Amazon, like... It's like sitting in the Amazon wrapping still. I haven't even taken it out. Which, if you guys want to know the how how my life has been lately i have a new video game that's just sitting in an amazon container like what happened to all the thrill <laughs> hello oh you there human you have intruded into my home there's no place excuse you are standing on oh, i'm lost do not mock me boy Oh, I actually have to answer affirmatively. Been hooked to Final Fantasy XIV lately. That's the other game that I hear people are into. Final Fantasy XIV, the game with a free trial that you can get into Endwalker tomorrow, today. Well, the free trial? I've been attracted a little bit to Final Fantasy XIV, but I also know how much I hate MMORPGs. Uh, so, I've stopped myself. You've heard of a show called Gravity Falls, and it's basically that, but magic and every fairy tale and monsters are, and are, and monsters are real! Oh my god. Interesting. You say you, you, you've been enjoying it? Is that what you said? Let me check. Oh, you haven't said, but I assume you have been enjoying it. Honestly, I'm other than dungeons, which have been done with other people. It plays more like a single player game. Oh, FF14. Hmm. Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial that includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and their award-winning Heaven Sword expansion up to level 460 today with no restrictions on playtime? Sign up and enjoy e Erosia today. Erosia. So here's the thing. I've seen like a lot of my friends get into Genshin Impact. I've seen a lot of my friends get into Final Fantasy XIV. And lately I've been seeing my friends get into Pokemon Unite. Uh, I see my friends get into a lot of different video games and uh, a lot of them I just skip out on and uh, sometimes it sucks because I feel like I'm missing out right but then other times it's like I'll, I'll see the pain of people playing MMOs and the, the struggle of of how much they do and I'm like I don't know if I want to get into that, you know. I, I I have a I have a I barely have time right now. Do do I have time to dedicate into a game that I've seen so many of my friends like pour so much of their life into and they still feel like unaccomplished in it? It just it scares me. It really scares me. Uh and I'm like, "Nah, I'm good." To the sky. Final Fantasy XIV will devour your time. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. Six hundred fifty hours. Jeez Louise. You know, MC used to watch good, uh, good Mythical Morning. I almost said it. A good Good Morning Minecraft back in the day. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Tydrum. If you, uh, I, I hope you uh, had, a, had a chance to check out stuff I used to do other than Good Morning Minecraft since then, because, uh, that was just, I feel like that was just, like, the beginning of my life. <laughs> Weird, because it's like, yeah, I did that show back when I was, like, what, 17, maybe 18? And it feels like I was a baby. <laughs> Oh, 
Do I have a free bottle? Do I have a free bottle? Nope, that's not my bottle. I don't. Um... I don't want to get rid of my fairy. Alright, well, there we go. Ah! Don't eat me! We were all babies back then. Time is so weird. Now don't talk to me, Magma. Hey, what do you want, dude? You're the guy I met at Volcano! Don't, don't talk to me. still baffles me how much content there is even if you're not a completionist the free child will keep you busy for a long time there's a lot of uh interesting things about final fantasy 14 that I'd, I'd like to try but i don't know like you've all said like i put in 650 hours i put in 400 hours you guys are talking about a every zelda 100 percent amount of time to put into a video game i don't accept that lightly into my life <laughs> This is an underrated Zelda game. Um, so I'm gonna say something very interesting. I'm gonna say something, chat. Chat, I hope you're ready for MC to blow your mind with his insane, you know, I really want that Amber Relic. I'm gonna say my thing after I get this Amber Relic. Hold on, give me a moment. I'm gonna blow your mind with my insane knowledge, skill, and uh, genius. I think all Zelda games are rated very highly and all of them are loved very, very much. And I think that the loudest people are the people who complain about stuff and that most people actually just like all Zelda games. And, and, or like, like m most people, all, <laughs> all Zelda games are really good. And I don't feel like there's much in the world of Zelda games being under or overrated, honestly. I used to like buy into them and I used to be like, Majora's Mask is underrated. And then it was like, Majora's Mask is overrated. And Sky now, Skyward Sword is underrated. I actually am just of the opinion that all Zelda games are pretty much loved by the community in general. And that loud, the, the vocal minority are the people who are the loudest. <laughs> And so, I don't know, I don't really, uh, I don't think there's any Zelda games anymore that I would call under or overrated. Not even the ones that I, like, really want people to like more, like the Oracle games. I think people have a pretty good grasp on what those games are, actually. Dude. Oh, oh, uh, watch this. You guys want to see something pretty clever? <laughs> it's me, Mario. Dude, why would you shoot my beetle? Maybe this is harder than I thought. Dude, I'm coming over there. Oh. <laughs> Chat, I think I suck. I swear the strategy is to use the bomb.
<laughs> I get it. I got it. Even the CDI Zeldas, those aren't officially licensed. I mean, those are not members of the, the Legend of Zelda f official franchise. That's not what I'm talking about. Which Zelda games to be ported remade for Switch? All of them. The Wii motion control for this game was originally pretty aggravating. You know, I really didn't have much trouble with it myself, and I know I'm an outlier. But I don't know, I always thought it was fine. Which I, I understand that my approach to all these opinions is like the most, uh, what's it called? The path of least aggression or whatever it's called. The path of least opposition. But I can't, I don't know. Maybe I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Zelda hippie, but I, 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 I just kind of want pe 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 peace and love. Peace and love for, for all Zelda games. You know, br bro. Sands Undertale, Sands Undertale. I'm really sorry about who I am. <laughs> I didn't have any relations to the motion control in the original version. Didn't like the puzzle doors. I mean, so, so uh, on Hyrule Academy the other day, which is a Zelda lore podcast that I host over on the Zelda Font channel every month. Uh, I had on Ganon, Ganon 11, one of our uh, Zeldathon associates. And we talked a little bit about remasters, because Ganon has been very vocal in the past about that he doesn't think games should be remade. And he actually clarified a little bit to me. He thinks that he's tired of games being remade that are already good games that people already love and adore. Why did I go out the wrong door? Um, so like, he's like, why do people want Ocarina of Time to be remade? when it's already a pretty solid game and that people can already play it and people have already rated this game 10 out of 10 when there's like Zelda 1 sitting there or Zelda 2 sitting there, which is a game that could re could really do with some uh, a remaster and some touch-ups of the formula. And I was like, you know what, Ganon? I think you're right. What's up, birds? Do, 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 do. What about Zelda Picross? What about Zelda Picross? <laughs> I caught a fairy. No, I don't want a fairy. I want sacred water. Want that to be on the Switch? Yeah, absolutely I want. So... I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a stupid no, not a stupid question, but like a a question that's like I don't know. Of course I want everything to be on the Switch. It's my console that I play right now. Can I get every game on the Switch? I cannot. That's just not realistic in terms of Nintendo's development time. You know, it is realistic in terms of how much money Nintendo has sitting on their bank account. But that's another subject for another day. Almost time to start Ancient Cistern. Cries in Metroid Prime Trilogy. <laughs>
You mean the Chaos Emeralds? No, 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 no. Is that my Wii? Or my Wii U. I'm not sure, actually. Hello, ma'am. I hate that animation the most. Because, like, it shows Link a splish splish, but he is totally not anywhere near, like, putting it into the basin. Welcome back, Bagbot. Oh, she back. Sub fair on. Dump sacred water on the floor. <laughs> Oops, I dumped my sacred water on the floor. I <laughs> Oops, my sacred water. <laughs> Maybe you get to step stool really quickly. That that must be what happened, Star Cat. Everybody, I have uh, I have something to admit to, and then we'll discuss that bag bar. Um, I have I have a new YouTube um, guilty pleasure. <laughs> My new YouTube guilty pleasure is watching uh, Uber and, and Lyft drivers kick people out of their Ubers and Lyfts for various things. And I, I'm kind of like already over it after like watching for like three or four days. Um, but, uh, it's, it's been my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Especially when the driver or the, the Uber riders get fussy and the driver's like, all right. And they just call the police, like, while the person's just in their car refusing to get out. I'm just like, <laughs> get them. And so it's always really funny because, like, the Uber riders, will they, they're all, they'll be all fussy and, and mean and, and jerky. And they'll be like, I'm not getting out of this car. This car, you are my driver, and you your job is to take me to where I need to go. And, <laughs> and then it's so funny. The second the, the Uber driver's like, all right, I'm going to call the police. They're like... I am leaving, and I am leaving the worst review ever. <laughs> Get out of the car and go. <laughs> it's like it's like so funny when like they, they barely the the driver barely reaches for their phone to be like, I'm gonna call the police now. <laughs> They're like, all right, peace. I was here to stand for my morals until until it was clear that I was doing the wrong thing and somebody was about to oust me for it. Uh, yeah, so that's been my guilty pleasure. Uh oh, I don't know the secret combination. If anybody knows the secret combination, let me know, because I don't want to go look at it. The temple secret order. <gasps> Up, down, left, right. <gasps> Bless your soul. 23 is number one. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna preemptively... Oh! Sniper moves activated. Man, I love Ancient Cistern. Ancient Cistern is such a top-tier dungeon. Um, I don't want to shoot. I, I want to switch my, my, my weaponry. Thank you.
Do I not have to do anything here? Oh, wait, I have to jump on this, this lily pad. I was like, I know there's a, a path forward that I need to reveal. <laughs> yeah, 2021 summarized in one sentence. It's better than 2020. Is it good? No, it's not. But, uh, it's not good. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not as good. Oh, yes, <laughs> Idris Elba is Knuckles. Pronunciation, please help me. Um, yeah, no, I am so hyped for that. I I mostly know him as being, uh, he, he did um, Heimsdale, uh, right, in, uh, in Thor and Marvel. And he was also, uh, character name, character name, hold on, Charles Minor in, uh, the or oh, the office, and it's like this is not the, the the casting choice I expected, but you know what? It is definitely a casting choice I like. I am all about it. I think he's gonna do brilliantly. <laughs> Wink just stole your cash. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Knuckles. Knuckles is one of my... Okay, Knuckles is on my favorite character list. I was about to say he's one of my favorite characters. He is not that. But he is... He's on my, my favorite character's page. He's not even in the top ten, but... The definition, not the casting choice I expected, but the casting choice we needed all along. Exactly. I, I agree. Uh-oh! It's a stall master! <laughs> Uh-oh! Those videos, videos of guys building water slides and pools in the ground are my YouTube guilty pleasure. I have no idea that this is a thing, but now I want to watch somebody build, build a water slide. There's so much like random stuff on YouTube that like you'll find an entire sub community about the stupidest stuff, and it's amazing when you do. Whoa. Hey, bro, calm down. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Can, can anybody forgive me for these words I'm saying with my mouth? Dude, you, you, you gotta give me a chance to react. Chipping away very compressed earth. Building in-ground pools. Oh, what the heck? My, my YouTube guilty pleasure is Smosh Pit videos. You mean Mosh Pit? Or or as in Anthony Padilla in, in, in a pit. <laughs> Smosh Pit. What is Smosh Pit? I don't know what you're talking about. What's a smosh pit? Because I think of shut up, guys, and... I've also been obsessed with those random dude bros that have a certain amount of money and challenge you to do stuff and build... Ah. Um, it is shut up, guys. Oh, it's actual... Oh, it, like the tr these try not to laugh challenge thingies. I've seen those. They got bought by uh, Mythical, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Link got BDSM. Why would you say these things?
Please, please note they did not get purchased by Good Mythical Morning. They got purchased by the company Mythical, Mythical Entertainment. <laughs> Very important for their branding. Whee! And this is where I'd put my boss key. If I had one. Yes, here's where I put my boss key if I had one. Ah! I like videos that are Earth, Wind, and Fire song September mixed with other songs. You know? That's a niche that I can get behind. Oh, you guys already? We are like almost a month away from the, 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 the day. The the, de the September day where we get to listen to the song and we get to see the man dance. <laughs> do you remember? I don't know. Do you remember? Oh, no. I got kerblobbled. I didn't even get paid for it. Uh, Lele, I think that's a big question you just asked in this Twitch.television channel. Underground building pools. This was, man, I'm gonna watch some weird YouTube later. Guys, I think the stream's gonna end right now. <laughs> I gotta go watch some pools being built. Well, let me at least uh, finish the dungeon. <laughs> then we'll see what we can do. I, what I really want to do, um, sometimes I want to stream crossword puzzles and stuff. Why? Because I've lost control of my life. Oh, he's serious. So I, I'm okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna call this real talk. I'm gonna call this mediocre talk. This is like medium rare. Uh, medium rare talk. What? What? That's not what I meant. My brain to say. Um. So I want to stream, and I've been wanting to stream like all of 2021. Um, but I've also been dealing with a lot of stuff from easy things to big things to just 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 things i've been dealing with a lot of lot of stuff and i'm been prioritizing those things in my life for good reason um but i do want to stream more but one thing that's important to me is um Pacing myself. Well, Link, you really were in the ground, weren't you? Um, and so, for that reason, what I'll probably do is I will probably um, be streaming more, but not as long. So, I'll, I'll do more streams, but just for a shorter amount of time, just to get myself in the, the method of streaming more often. And then, as I get more comfortable and make sure that my time and my life is all sorted out then i will try to increase the amount of time i stream this is not going to be a, a consistent like i am only going to stream for blank number of hours or whatever but it is a example of how i think right now i want to prioritize my life daily 12 hour stream soon yeah that's what i said i'm, I'm glad we understood all, all, all everything i said perfectly Yep. <laughs> uh, I've always had terrible stream stamina. People who've been around a long time know this. That, like, a long MC stream is six hours. <laughs> I, 
I've always been a fan of the four hour stream personally. That Ludwig guy. <laughs> Daily 10 minute streams. Four hours of short streaming must be hard. A lot of people, so it, it's really weird because I think that the, the streaming, like, people have been very sensitized to longer streams um, in the streaming community. Because the people who get the biggest usually try to do long streams. Uh, but I don't think that's healthy. I think it's healthier to do like a, a a stream length like four to six hours and then spend a little bit of extra time like managing your clips and YouTube videos for like the other two hours. I think that's the ver a very healthy way to stream if you're going to do it full time. Or even as a hobby, like if you have like, you know, six hours on a weekend, you want to do every Saturday and Sunday and then spend a couple hours during the week like making clips of the, your, your weekend streams. I think that's a great way to do it as a hobby. Yo, it's this dungeon. I love this one. Yeah, Ancient Cistern is probably my favorite dungeon in this game, and it's probably in my top like Zelda dungeons of all time. Like, very, very high. I remember attempt at 24 hours, which is nice because I was in bed with strep throat. So something like what? <laughs> yeah, I... I've done, the, I think the longest stream I've done solo, asterisk, has been uh, 20 hours when I did Mario Sunshine 100% in one go, and I couldn't find any of the blue coins. Um, dude, don't you dare. Dude, I warned you. But then again, on paper, my longest streams are like 140, 160 hours. <laughs> Get at me, all you big, you big Twitch streamers, with your, with your. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream for 24 hours. Yeah, I stream for 160. Yeah, I wasn't even on camera most of the time, but. <laughs> MC, I don't like it when you make that ha <laughs> sound. You're right. I'm sorry, dear viewer. I won't make it anymore. <laughs> Sorry, one more for the road. <laughs> Try to keep it a one three hour stream on the weekend. Yeah, no, um, I, you know what I like? I like it when people stream for exactly as much as they want to and they have fun with it. When people try to make streaming into something bigger in their lives than they need to, and it just makes me not sad because like obviously you if, if 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 somebody can do it if somebody can like turn their streaming into like a, a viable career or as a productive hobby that like a side hustle quote unquote the millennial life um of course i'm going to be proud of them and encourage them but there is also such a thing as i don't know do you guys want to know why i decided to stream skyward sword tonight because I had some free time. I haven't beat Skyward Sword HD yet. And I finished setting up my studio and I was kind of like, you know what? I kind of wanted to do this for fun. It wasn't because I have a job that says I got to stream this many hours or I have a bottom line to me. No, I was like, I want to stream some video games. Tomorrow I might say, you know what? Screw video games. I want to watch people on YouTube build in-ground pools for f five hours. That's the way to do, man. Someday I'll buy this. I don't play PC games. That's, that's a lie. This crossword count as a PC game. I've been playing the New York Times crossword. Shout out to Lego's Jedi in the past. I've been playing so much of the New York Times crossword, I'm like here like looking at the subscription thing, like, should I get the subscription? I'm like, no, MC, stop. You are trying to not spend money in your life. And so I'm not, I'm not buying the, the New York Times crossword subscription, but I want to. 
Because right now I do the, I do the do the dictionary.com one of the day. I do the mini, and I'm on like a free trial of New York Times, so I get the daily big puzzle. But soon I'm not going to get those, and I'm going to be very sad once my trial runs out. And then I'll be down to just dictionary.com. I've been going hard on Sudoku. I gotta admit to you. So I uh, actually got two things to say. One, uh, Arctic's been watching this Sudoku player, or, or like guy who does Sudoku on YouTube, but like does these really cool fancy ones. And at first I was like, oh, I don't get it. And then I watched a video and it was like, it was, it was kind of like mind numbing in a good way. And sometimes I was like, ooh, and I, I was like noticing things that the, the correct answer. And I was like, this is great. This is the best. Um, sh show me your tail, dude. Show me that tail. Ooh, come here. You're dead. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't like playing Sudoku. I'm not a Sudoku fella. I have no interest in playing Sudoku at all. Not when Crossword is just sitting there, or trivia games, or balls for the iOS. <laughs> Give me some Junior Jumbles. I don't like the Junior Jumbles. Do you like Solitaire? Dude, Solitaire is such a weird game where like, yes, I have a Solitaire on my phone, but I don't know. Solitaire on a computer feels like a scam. The computer already knows if you can win or not. The computer's laughing at you. I like, I like Solitaire if I have a deck of cards, you know? I, I, I hate Solitaire on, on, a, on a phone. Because I'll, I'll look at my phone and my phone will be like, Hey, buddy. <laughs> you know, just just, just noticed uh, you, you don't have any more moves left. Do you want a hint on what to do? I'm like, no, screw you, Solitaire. You knew this was going to happen. You knew the second I, I put that card on that pile that I screwed myself. And now you're laughing at me. I hate you, Solitaire app. I'm not a fan of Solitaire app. Nope. Not one bit. Solitaire with a, with a, with a pack of cards. You know, that's my own doing. I'm the one who shuffles. I'm the one who deals. I'm the master of my own demise. Not to name drop. What's up, Zach Bacon? Good to see you. Thank you for 12 months, one year. I hope you enjoyed the new badge. I think you now actually officially get a, a Triforce. That badge. Whoa, fire keys. Whoa. They're dead. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I am the one who deals. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Guy's gonna make me watch rewatch all of Breaking Bad. Even though I, I already rewatched Breaking Bad during the pandemic once. Considering doing it again right now, gotta admit. Boop, boop, boop. The question is, I kind of, I kind of don't want to rewatch Breaking Bad and, and Better Call Saul until we have a confirmation on when uh, Better Call Saul's final season is going to start premiering. So, like, 
and and now that um Bob Odenkirk is recovering right now from a, a heart attack, I'm just kind of like, I'm just gonna chill. Just gonna chill and wait. And then I watch Breaking Bad, which is blasphemy. Hey, you know, we were just talking about this earlier, uh, uh, Matthew De Doom. Uh, we were just talking about this earlier. We were like, you know, people were like, well, what do you think when somebody hasn't played a Zelda game? And it's like, that's cool. That, that just means you have opportunity to play Zelda in the future. Really? Did you just bonk, Beetle? Did, did you just do that? Beetle, I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched Breaking Bad, guess what? You now have the opportunity to watch Breaking Bad in your life. You have the opportunity and you have a very golden opportunity. Something that I no longer have, which is to watch Breaking Bad for the first time. Cause there is so much in that show. No matter how much people have like tried to like like you, you might know some some secrets or some spoilers just just from the culture of the world from people spoiling it or mentioning I'm the one who knocks as an example. Like you know that's a quote in the show. You don't know nothing until you watch that show. That show loves curveballs. It loves big moments. It loves... And it is so good. It is one of the... Not even just one of... It's like probably... I don't want to say it's the best written show on television, but it's very close. It's very good. My, I wish I could watch this for the first time show again. It's 100% The Good Place. Yeah, no, I, I really liked watching The Good Place, too, and I think that having that as a first time watch again would be magical. Are you excited for Survivor 41 next month? I very much am. Um, for, for those of you who aren't really in the Survivor verse, Oh, the survivor verse. I'm glad I said those words. Um, survivors don't something very weird um, for the first time. So, um, the 40th season of Survivor was the 20 year anniversary of the show, and uh, it came out uh, j just before the pandemic, and um, it was like a celebration of like, it was like all the winners, uh, like like 20 winners from the past 40 seasons all played against each other. It was really fun. Um, but for this late, um, for Survivor 41, which they finally were able to shoot here um, during the pandemic, it took them a long time to be able to get into Fiji to do that. Um, and for the first time, they're not calling it like, in the past they've been calling like Survivor, South Pacific, or Survivor, the, uh, Winners at War, or Island of the Idols, or Heroes versus Hustlers versus Healers. <laughs> That's a name. Um, they're just calling it Survivor Forty One. <laughs> this late, this next, the the forty first season, they are calling it Survivor Forty One. <laughs> they they, I guess they gave up on cool titles, and now they're just like, let's call it Forty One. And, and, and apparently Survivor 42, which has already been filmed, is just going to be Survivor 42. Which, you know, I'm okay with this. At first I was like, aw, but the, the, the funny names. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Well, Matthew, if, if, if you end up watching a Breaking Bad, be sure to uh, give me updates sometime. I don't know, like, come in a, to, into the Discord. The next season should be Survivor 41 2. <laughs> uh oh. It's zombies! Uh oh! I'm currently watching Ted Lasso for the first time. Let me tell you what. Actually, please tell me what, because that is apparently the only thing that's of interest on Apple TV that I have, like. I, it's the only thing I've actually had interest in watching that's on the Apple TV subscription service. Ugly Sob watching episode 7 last night? I thought it was a funny show. It's in freaking incredible. It's so goddamn good. What the heck? Really? Almost everything that I've seen about, like, Apple TV has been like, these shows kind of suck. But Ted Lasso's actually kind of hype. Hello? Should I watch this?
Uh, Layla, you have Welcome to the Internet stuck in your head. Apathy is a tragedy and boredom is a crime. Anything and everything, all of the time. Hundred percent yes. R watch Ted Lasso. Really? Okay. Well, I think I technically have Apple TV Plus or whatever for like another week or so. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll binge it. Oh, said, are you in? A, are you in the housing market? One bed, one bath, six hundred thirty-six square feet for a hundred eighteen thousand. Oh, I don't know what housing market you're looking into, but. That sucks. I'm so sorry. You know, what I love about Zelda dungeons is if you know them and you, you can just do them like I just did. Like I just did this entire dungeon and my brain has not been active. My brain cells have been just big chilling, and I've been t talking to chat, and I love it. That's my favorite. That's why I love streaming Zelda so much. Although, about, I'm at these uh, every one of my brain cells right now. Hold on, everybody. Wish me luck. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun! All the time. Shout out to Super Smash Brothers Brawl reveal trailer. One of the most hype moments of my entire life. So yeah, I guess I'll watch Ted Lasso. <laughs> Man, I'm actually a little bit intrigued. So actually, oh, so there is one show that I really want to watch right now because I've been told so by so many people that uh, I would enjoy because I'm a fan of Breaking Bad that I should watch The Sopranos. Uh, and I've heard a lot of people recommend The Sopranos. Never watched Sopranos my entire life. But you know what? It's only on HBO Max. So uh, what I'm going to do is wait until the iCarly season is over. <laughs> and then I'm going to unsubscribe from Paramount Plus and move it over to HBO Max. And then I'll watch... Uh, the Sopranos and maybe, uh, um, maybe I'll watch Game of Thrones finally. But it's so funny because, like, thinking about starting Game of Thrones, knowing how much people hated the ending is, like, it feels so, it feels wrong. It feels like a bad decision. Hey, look, it's the best boss in the entire Legend of Zelda series. Non-final boss. Cougar, have you watched uh, Better Call Saul? Oh, Duke, should I turn up the music? No, I think it's already be loud enough. <clears throat> I'll do boss voice for this. Here we go. Ancient Automaton! Galactos. Da, 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 da. Man, I'm. This boss is it amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Sora, thanks for ultra sub. For 45 months. Appreciate you. <laughs> no, that works, all right. Better Call Saul is good as good as Breaking Bad sometimes. I agree. <laughs> well, you guys are sending a lot of messages I want to read, but I need to focus on uh, Colactose. Yeah, no, this is this is one of my favorite Zelda bosses of all time, if not my number one. Whoa! 
Show me your belly. Belly, 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 belly. Oh, we got legs. Dun, 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 dun. Ouchie. I messed up. Give me your sword, big boy. I like this boss, but I want to say it's my favorite or close to favorite. Interesting. I think this is one of the most well-constructed bosses in the entire Zelda series. For incorporating the item from the dungeon well, to the music, to the design, to the challenge. I, I love Coloctos with all my heart. God, I, I, I screwed. Can I have another one, please? How are you? You should probably run. No, don't, 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 don't whip him. <gasps> Hi, I'm really the April Fool right now. Don't give me another spawn. Okay, good. Got him. What an excellent boss. This is why I think Ancient Cistern is one of the best dungeons in the entire Zelda series, is because it has amazing mechanics, a great central uh, gimmick with the, the 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 big head that moves up and down. It's well designed. It has amazing music. It has a stellar boss, probably my favorite in this game. Um, I don't know. It just this dungeon just works. And it, it, it slaps. It slaps real hard. I, I'm a huge fan of it. It's telling Link to swing, but he didn't want to. Farore. Skyward Sword dungeon design is top notch. It's very good. It's not very complex, which can be a good or bad thing depending on your particular sect of the Zelda fandom. I think it is some of the best uh, 
in the same way I think you can describe the entire Zelda, this entire their game, this game is some of the best linear Zelda like ever because of like how good the storytelling is in this game, how good the cutscenes are, how good the everything is. Uh, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that. But it's very different from something like Breath of the Wild, which is very open, um, which does Zelda in a much different way. Yeah, that's why I like this one. Hey, Connor. Sending you hearts as well. Ooh. The flames of Farore have improved your sword, making it longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. It feels like they hit the peak of linear Zelda with this game, but went overboard in some areas, lacking the exploration of the early games. Um, so here, here's something to consider. Here is something to consider. The exploration of this game, I think, is still here. The biggest problem is, instead of, like, you know how to, in Ocarina of Time, you walk from the forest uh, out to Hyrule Field, and from Hyrule Field into Kakariko Village? In this game, you walk from uh, the woods into the sky into the volcano. Um, and because it's not walking, it's a whole cutscene that takes you from, from ground to sky, it feels disconnected. Which is why every area, like forest, volcano, and desert, all feel very segmented off. Because the... The, the piece that usually joins them together, which is like a field in some Zelda games, and this one is a sky. Which um, is almost similar to Wind Waker, except by Wind Waker, you're not going up. You're, you're, you're staying kind of on the same area, um, which I think is interesting. Um... Because the sky is very similar to the to the, the ocean in Wind Waker. Especially in terms of things to do and like heart pieces to be found and and all that. It's just not as powerful. There's something about organic fluidity and traveling from one area to the next. And see so so this right here. Even though that's fast, even though that that's snappy, and I'm already back into the gameplay, it just feels like I'm in a different world. Um, and I feel like it's different enough from something like uh, something like Breath of the Wild, where everything is seamless, or Wind Waker, where the ocean is right out right outside the islands that that that's what people perceive as this game being segmented off it's all connected like by this overworld just this overworld kind of it feels segmented so Oh yeah, no. See, see, we're we're getting into the semantics of Zelda again, where we're gonna fall into the same discussions we usually have, which are, uh, this game is good. <laughs> this game is good. All Zelda games are good. All of them have their own problems and unique things that are really great about them. The Zelda Cycle. I mean, this is a great example of the Zelda Cycle, where they released Skyward Sword in 2011, and as they were starting to work on their next game, they looked at the feedback from Skyward Sword, which was, everything feels disjointed and not con- That was crazy remix. Junior, thank you for 59 months. Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. 
Um. They, they heard the feedback from this game, which was, this game holds your hand too much, and this game is very segmented off, and the world feels, like, not connected. And so, like, okay, well, here's Breath of the Wild. The, the entire world is connected, and it's all one thing, and our tutorials are uh, barely existent. Good luck. And people were like, well, this is great, except where's the story? And Nintendo was like, are you kidding me, mate? <laughs> do you really want, do you want to fight right now? Where's the dungeons? And it's like, okay. <laughs> hey, Zelda fans. We're doing our best. We only got so many development resources. <laughs> In this game, it's like, oh, the story's so great and the dungeons are so perfect. That shame that the world's disconnected and it's so tutorial heavy. Breath of the Wild, it's the exact opposite. It's like, man, the world is so beautiful and connected and so simple to explore. And there's like the tutorials are so well built into the game. Shame about the dungeons and story. It's, 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 it, it's, 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 all, it's always been that way. It's always going to be that way. Yes, that's one thing where I appreciate Zelda. Frosty is very correct. All the games are very distinct and unique from each other compared to many other franchises where it's more the same. Like, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword share the same engine. But they could all be, they're, they're all so separate from each other and different from each other, right? It's like you wouldn't even know. It's crazy. I mean, look at the Zelda series, where this game... Okay, okay, okay I'm, I'm gonna save. Hold on, let's save. Because I, I, I don't, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> but I want to show you this, I want to show you this. Look at this, I want to see something amazing. Think about this game, think about Skyward Sword, okay? Now think of Age of Calamity. Now think of Breath of the Wild. Now think of Link's Awakening. These games are all so radically different and they're all like Zelda, right? I mean, Age of Calamity, all right, fine, we can... Like, it's just, it's crazy. It's nuts how different they are. But they're all part of the same series and they feel right. Same with same like Cadence of Hyrule. This came out as a, as a in, indie darling that kind of dang amazing. Want to play some one, two switch? What you don't, that's a shame. MC, you can delete Mario 35. Where is it? Can I archive it? So that way I can keep the icon. I want my icon and the age of Cal calamity demo. I can delete this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I can, I can save some space by getting rid of the age of calamity demo. Anything else you guys see that I can clean up on my switch? <laughs> Dude, part-time UFO, kind of a banger. I haven't played Hades in so long. What the heck? I hope I'm okay. <sighs> delete Hades. I'll delete you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wrong way. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. Thank you for spending your time with me tonight. Did you all have a good evening? I hope my stream was an entertaining time. I do plan on doing more of these streams. Also, shout outs to this haircut. Arctic gave me this haircut, and it is like my favorite haircut I've ever gotten. It is boss. I haven't been playing any Skyward Sword HD off screen, so I'm not gonna like, you're not gonna miss anything. I will put it, I will make sure I will put these things up on YouTube. I need to take care of that. And thanks Darius for hanging out.
It's a nice time to tune in tomorrow for a while. I have a habit of going off and on Twitch for getting my wife on the way. I understand that. I understand that a lot. So yeah, uh, I, I, I still have some other stuff I want to do in my studio here. Like, uh, I'm considering putting my vinyls up um, on this wall. MC, Vintage Me referenced you in one of his new videos that he brought up Lapis. Do you know which one it was? I'd like, I'd like to hear his reference. It's been a while since I've talked to Beef. Um, but you know, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put my vinyls up on this wall above the piano. And then I'm gonna probably put, um, you can only see two um, uh, prints up here. There, a third one's gonna go up here, but the, the actual glass cracked on it, which is sad. Um, on that wall, uh, I, I might put some foam up to because it, it 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 echoes too much in here. And the rest of the office is pretty boring. I have my uh, stack of things like my NAS and my stuff just off camera here. Sorry about it. Oh yeah, hey, look look what I finally got! Look what I finally got! It took Target until like like this past like Friday to get here, but I got my Skyward Sword Joy-Con. I'm sorry that the color is not very good right now. I have colored lights on in this room. They're very nice looking. <sighs> I'll wait till Ty John finds out. Actually, hold on, let me, um, by the way, in the future, um, I'm going to hopefully get back into doing stuff on the Buru. mc.buru.org in case you want to see art or submit art from the stream. Oh no, Cobot got timed out. Hold on. Uh, hold on, I got this. Plus allow. Ty John 13. Ugh. You may now post one link within 15 minutes. Five, or five. You can post it. You can post it now. Thank you. Hold on. Let, let me let me let me click this. Jenny with X for another day. What is your favorite Minecraft block? Is it one of the new blocks and older blocks? Maybe maybe it's like a, a block that not a lot of people enjoy. Maybe like whose favorite block is that? If you get that reference, that is I mean you are old school. <laughs> <laughs> you have been around a while. Anyway, question of the day, what is your favorite Minecraft book? Cool. <laughs> he didn't even mention me, he mentioned Orange Wool, but you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> th th thank you for sending that to me. Hey everybody, we're going to do a raid on Rykon Dragon. He's a kind of newer friend of mine. He's been playing Pokemon Unite. And, uh, he's a dragon. <laughs> Go hang out with the dragon, all right? Thanks for being cool. Thanks for being rad. Go, go tell Rykon I said hi. <laughs> 